guys welcome back to the channel sparks your interest i am your host as always hope you guys are having a beautiful wonderful day i know i am i'm enjoying this day so far man i got home from uh, work finally uh, last night man so um um it was pretty interesting but um what i want to dive in with you guys today man is how i missed 15 days of work and didn't get fired for it. Didn't get talking to for it. Nothing happened. Crazy, right? All right, listen real carefully. <clears throat> so my situation is, right now, currently, at least, um, I currently have my son full time, right? So with that being said, it is extremely hard to find somebody to watch a child when you work a graveyard shift, when you work from 10 at night to seven in the morning, you know, really not knowing what time you're getting off in the morning. But sometimes it, it varies, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you get off real early, sometimes you get off real late. Um, but yeah, in these situations, my son, he's two years old currently, and um, that was my reason for being off those many days because literally it's hard to find somebody to watch him as I said before. Um, and I expressed that multiple times uh, to the job, uh, the people at the job from the, the low, which is like, you know, the manager to the highs, you know, the boss, the big bosses, whatever you want to call them, um, expressed it multiple times to them. So I don't know, maybe they're just understanding about it or what, I don't know what it is, but um, I literally didn't show up for like 15 days, literally like 15 days. And maybe not like all in, not like all in a row, but like literally spread out like once a week missing. I mean, going in probably once a week or so, maybe twice in a week I'll go in and that'd be it. Um, but yeah, like literally like that. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's, <laughs> it's the truth. It, it is what it is. And, um, that was the situation that I was placed in and the situation I'm currently, currently still in. So um, what, what I do find funny is I've missed all of these days within the 90 day probation period. Okay. So, you know, when you first start on a job, nine times out of 10, they give you a 90 day probation period where you can't miss any days of work. And if you do, you're out of there. You know what I'm saying? or probably get talking to or something. For me, in my situation, I, I'm guessing, because I brought it up so much about when to switch uh, shifts um, to the morning shift, because it's easier to find someone to watch my son while I'm at work, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe that's why they've been so lenient, but literally, every time that I show back up to work after missing so many days, literally, I don't receive any talking to or anything. Um, I haven't had any marks against me. Um, I get just pretty much thrown back into the work the, the work schedule. And if anything, I'm like um, more, like I'm getting more, um, what do you call it? Um, I'll say more help. I'm getting more of an opportunity to move up in the company, things like that. So I know this sounds weird, but I don't know. Um, from what I've been told from the higher ups, man, they said that I'm a great worker. And, you know, I work really hard or whatever. Um, so they definitely appreciate that. Um, I've had multiple supervisors and stuff come up to me and let me know, like, hey, you know, like we're doing everything in our power to get you over to switch to the morning shift, which is very weird because you would think that something like that is easy to do. But apparently, it's extremely hard to move from third shift to first shift. Don't get it, I don't understand why is it so hard, but um, everybody I've talked to so far has said that it's extremely hard for that to happen. And there's every everybody I talk to, they say they're sending emails out. I get sending emails out. So I've done my part, which is communicating uh, my situation, um, the hardship, you know, I have, I have or whatever. So, uh, another interesting thing is when I see my check 
I told you like 15 days, probably more, honestly, of miss, miss work, right? And let's keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? I tried to call off the numbers that I've been given or I've, I've seen on, on their websites and stuff, don't be working. Or I never get a response back or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I my uh, call loss are unexcused. Like they're not, um, um, I'm not actually calling out because it never gets to the person, the, to the people. And I don't even think they notice to be, to be honest with you. That that's one thing I don't think they notice. I really don't. Um, I've even let them know, like, hey, I've been missing a ton of days, and it's like, eh, okay, well, hey, you're here tonight, so you know, hey, can you train this person for me? Hey, can you train this person? So you know, I've been in a, uh, more of a leadership role of uh, training people, um, helping people more moving around within the company, you know, doing various jobs, you know, uh, that goes beyond my job, honestly, which is pretty cool in itself, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's pretty dope. Uh, but yeah, 15 days of missed work, man. And, and literally come back in there and it's like new clean slate or it's like, it just nothing ever happened. It's, it's very interesting, you know? So I don't know if I'm just like blended in or what the case is, but somehow I'm going under the radar and I'm letting these people know it's not like I'm just like, you know, like signing in and then going home type with it. Nah, like I'm letting them know like, hey, I missed these days. Or, oh, oh, you did? Oh, snap. Okay. Well, yeah, um, you know, we're still trying to get you switched to morning shift, man, but we really enjoy your work here. You know what I'm saying? You're really great at what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dang, all right, well, I appreciate that, but um, yeah, I need to go ahead and move shifts because I'm missing out on money for my son. And when I get my checks, it doesn't reflect, it, it may reflect like maybe like one day of missed work, but literally I don't have any time on the books. So I'm, I'm not understanding how that's working. But hey man, if you guys know, comment below, let me know if you know, how this system goes. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, maybe something's on the verge of happening. Who who knows? Hey, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this. It is very interesting. Um, and I noticed that even the work is start, starting to slow down. But that's warehouse work generally, though. Like, warehouse work is so interesting. Like, you know, one month it could be like heavy. Like you, you're not going home until like, like you know, over your time you have to take two lunch breaks. That's how you know it's a long time period is when you have to take two lunch breaks. But um, um, yeah, lately it's been like really late, low, and my coworkers have been letting me know like, hey, you know, we've been out of here super early, so you know, I've been missing out on that. But at the same time, it's like, hey, I got to do what I got to do for my son, so. You know, obviously I have different strands of income that's coming in, so that's not my main source of income. But it's one of those things that, you know, you, you want to keep, keep, excuse me, you want to keep that nice flow coming in, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, that's my video, man. Comment below, let me know what you guys think of that situation that I'm currently in, still in to this day, to this day, to this day, Deontay Wilder. But um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. And I get right back with you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.